Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Speedy. My bike is still in my living room. I'm gonna take you on a tour of her this weekend, but I haven't gotten there yet, and then she can go back up to the garage. But right now, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I found some fun stuff. My stores still aren't fully stocked, but I got what I could get. How about that? So over here, I've got some, just some randoms I'll show you, and then we'll chat. I found one of these. It's actually a nail polish holder. But that's not what I'm going to use it for. Um, if you have a cutting machine like a Cricut, a Cameo, a Silhouette, a Joy, what you can do is hold this between your fingers. So what typically you would do is put a, a bottle of nail polish in there and it keeps it from spilling and it's attached. What I'm going to do is while I'm weeding out the bits of plastic, I can scrape them into here and it'll hold all the little be the little sticky bits. I saw that on a hack, and this is patent pending, who knew? But it's super cute, but I'm using it for crafting. And it's silicone, but it'll be great for like a little girl or a young person who needs a little help holding the polish because it will grip it. So yeah, that's fun. Hi, ducks. Oh, I'm sorry, you wanna say hi? <laughs> he was just laying in his window. Hi, baby. He's been napping all day. All right. He said, let me go, lady. And then the only other thing I found in the makeup section was some uh, Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. This is waterproof mascara in black. Pretty basic, but you know, you need mascara. Um, in the, oh, I did actually pick up one more of these. I am obsessed with these. I use it every single night. And I think it's going to be great in the summer to get the sunblock off my skin. So I just grabbed one more while I saw it. Actually, I grabbed three. Two are for the girls. I'm going to put it in their travel bin because I think that would be perfect for them to take on their trip for the airplane when they get there again with the sunblock and all that. I found the Star Trek socks. Guys, I love me some Patrick Stewart. I do. I will tell you, this is the reason I drink Earl Grey tea from Star Trek The Next Generation. They had all of them at my store, but let's not get crazy. I just need one pair. And it's Captain Jean-Luc Picard. And I believe this is from The Next Generation, which is really random that they're coming out with. I mean, maybe they lost their patent pending at this point because these are Greenbrier men's socks. So I thought that would be fun. And they would be great for an Easter basket, too, if you have guys that like, you know, sci-fi, Star Trek, that kind of stuff. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. Um, okay, I got some food. Not much. Mostly candy uh, for my little nephew for his Easter basket. Just some Jelly Belly Sours. I think he will appreciate those. Again, I love getting the little small size packaging for the kids. Um, this is Easter's. It is Ducks, Chicks, and Bunny Sweet Tarts, and they're individually packaged. So you get 20 pieces in here, and I can separate those out to all the Easter baskets that I will be gifting, and everybody will get a couple little individual packages of the sweet tarts, which I think is fantastic. So I grabbed those. I did get one more of the Russell Stover. Um, I'm pretty sure this is solid chocolate um, Easter Bunny. It feels solid, and it's just enough. It's 1.3 ounces. It's not an over amount of chocolate. But Russell Stover being a name brand, I would prefer this one. I did eat chocolate over Palmer's any day. So I grabbed one more of those for him, and then I got the M&M peanut butter for his basket because I liked this guy, if we're being truthful. I have other candies, but I just saw that. I cannot tell you how excited I am that I found these. I actually got three of each. This is name brand. This is something that I have purchased a big bag of this at Costco before trips because it's great for me to have in the car, in the you know hotel room, whatever. It's keto snack mix. So this one is the keto. It has peanuts, pepitas, almonds, walnuts, dried cheddar cheese balls, or like the moon cheese in here. Like, look at that. 
but it's a nice like travel size. This is perfect if you're flying, if you're going on a car trip, whatever, Cam hiking, camping. So I grabbed three of these and this is good until January of 2022. So I grabbed three of those and then they had the, um, sorry, I've got cat fur, the paleo mix, which is peanuts, cashews, almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts. So a little bit of different nut, but it also doesn't have the cheese in it. So it's paleo. If you're vegan, that would be better for you. And they are three servings per bag. And there's really nothing nasty. There's no nasties in here. However, it does say package and process in a, in a facility that packages peanuts. Yeah, because there's peanuts in the bag. I'm just saying. So I grabbed three of each to keep in my snack bags or my snack closet for the summertime. I always like to keep on hand grab and go um, stuff for the weekend, right? Because who doesn't? Not for the weekend, but just to run. All right, what else? Now, houseware stuff. I found this toilet paper, the oh so soft. These are some big old rolls, guys. Like, I feel like this is a good deal. Four rolls for a dollar. Um, I only found two at one store. The other store had an empty box. So I think people know this is a good deal. And so they're all about it as well. So I grabbed two of those. I just stock up when I see it. Nothing too terribly exciting. Um, I found the Lemon Mint Foaming Hand Sanitizer. What? I have the cranberry back there. So I'll put that away and pull out the lemon for summertime. They had a couple flavors. Ooh, it smells very lemony, which makes me happy for summertime. Here, we'll try it. So that's what it looks like. It is foaming. Mmm. I get that citrus smell. I'm not sure I get a lot of mint, but a little bit. Mmm, it smells good. And who doesn't need sanitizer everywhere? It's a little sticky, but let's see if it dries. Hi. Hi, buddy. I have a cat giving me his belly. Alex is laying over here because he's a silly cat. Okay, the sticky went away. So what I'll do is take this cranberry. This is for the fall and I will lock it up. I love these lids. You can just turn it and it locks and so now it won't. And I will put this away in the closet for fall and leave the lemon out for summer. Perfect. Okay, got a little, um, a little stuff here. I picked up a two pack of the zebra pens for the girls. So if you saw my last haul, I got them each a notebook and now I have them each a pen. So they'll each get a pen just to throw in the bag with them for their trip. And these do write in this color. So this writes in this teal blue and this writes in this purple and they're zebra. So I just open that up and divide it by the two. Then I grab these, I love these pens. The Take Note pens and markers, I love them. This one's for me and I liked the, this color. It was kind of intriguing to me. I really hope it writes in this color, which I'm sure it will. So let's see. They come with those little sticky balls on the tip. Come on, come on, there we go. All right, we're right on the back of this box. Yeah, it does. Oh, I love that color. It's exactly this color, like a tealy, dark teal. And then uh, there's a black one as well. I have the other colors. Sarah got them for me for Christmas, but I hadn't seen these two colors. I mean, black is black, but this is the color I needed. Oh, so pretty. So I grabbed two pens for me because I need pens. And as much as I need a, a notebook. Come on, guys, I can't help it. Look at this, look at this. Look at the copper and the striping. They had a whole bunch. This one says, live inspired. And I will tell you, it's just your regular jot 50 sheet notebook, except for they're serrated. So I can, you know, take this page out, make a grocery list and take it out. Do I need notebooks? No, I'm getting ready to have a giveaway. 
Thursday, I'm announcing a giveaway on notebooks and stuff, not this one, but similar. I love it. I have a problem, okay? I admit it. Pens and notebooks, they're my nemesis in life. And cats, apparently. They had these fun little coloring books. I was hoping that this would be about cats, but it's it's not. <laughs> It's just like geometric designs and stuff. What I do enjoy is the back is plain, so you can use a marker, and if it bleeds through, we don't care. Oh, music. Oh, no, that's not music. Just geometric shapes, but these are the covers that they have. So the cat, a leopard, a mermaid, and a panda. And I think it's great. You get 60, and it's just, again, travel, doing something not sitting at home. I've got travel on the brain, guys. I can't help it. Ugh. So I got the kitty cat and then I found an 80 piece cat puzzle. I think that'll just be fun to make. And the finished product will be 12 by eight and it's only 80 pieces, 88 pieces. I should be able to do that because I try, I struggled with the 300 piece one. We'll try an 88 piece one. I just thought it was cute. Something to do. Okay, so houseware, no, one more body product, I forgot. I got some of the Bolero wipes. These are just the body wipes, again, out and about, riding my bike. This is raspberry and fresh mint. And I love having these on hand for cleanup in the car, wiping down after exercise, whatevs. These are perfect. Camping, traveling, I wanna go on vacation. Okay, I'm done whining. So yeah, perfect. I grabbed those. And then I have one more office supply, staples, literally staples. I have a stapler. I staple a fair amount of like documents and tax things and papers and all that together, but I didn't have, I was running out of staples. So I grabbed some. And then the rest of the stuff I got is housewares. I found two, not one, two, of these bags. Remember the black and white ones? Same thing. But they're in light gray and a dark gray. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love these. I use them. I have one sitting across the room from me that has all my bicycling stuff for my car. And I have one in my bedroom. And these are going to be for craft project stuff. And I think these would be great for like yarn storage, really any storage. And these measure nine by seven or 10 by eight really, or eight by 10. But I love the wire, they're very sturdy. The sides hold up very well. I love these, they're great. And I think too, if you have like a teenager, this would be a great Easter basket. And then you can, they can use it for like storage in their room and stuff, especially for like a teenage guy. This would be fantastic in this dark gray. Either way, but I always struggle with the boy stuff, but I think this would be fantastic for an Easter basket. When the kids were younger, I used to give them each like an outfit and candy. I don't buy them clothes anymore. They're older now. They don't want me buying their clothes, but um, that would have been perfect for this. Or young kids hold all those outdoor summer toys, I think would be fantastic. So I grabbed one of each again. I don't need more than that. And I will tell you, these are going fast, super fast. So I grabbed those and then I haven't seen all of the stuff yet, but I found the elephant. Oh, it is a bank, but oh, look at him. And I love the speckle on his trunk. I just love this elephant. It's definitely gonna go up in my tiered tray for the summer. I won't use it as a bank, but I do have to get the sticky off his back. But look at that. Isn't that fun? And they had in the same same box was the robot and a unicorn. And the robot and unicorn had gold on them. This guy had the um, flex of paint. Oh, I love it. It almost looks like granite or marble or not marble, like a granite type rock. I don't know, but he's beautiful and I love him. So I grabbed one of those. And then the last things I picked up were these signs. And if you can see, this one's already peeling, which is fine because I didn't, it didn't bother me. I'm taking off these words and I'm going to put um, craft paper over the tops of these or paint them. 
but this one is it says dreaming and it just reminds me of mountains and they do come with a hanger on the back but they could also sit up or be attached to another sign then they had the round one and the round one says family and again i mean i don't mind this it's kind of modern to me i want to make these a little more boho so i'm going to take off the family sign i will re i will wallpaper it for lack of a better term with some craft paper and then we'll see what we can come up with for that and then they had like this octagon is that an octagon a six hexagon it's a geometric shape and it says welcome on it i almost don't know how many welcome signs i need so i will take that off again you could also make a trivet out of these. You could make a tiered tray, like this could be a tier of a tiered tray. I mean, there's a million things you can do. It is that like MDF board, so it's pretty sturdy. And again, you could get multiple ones of these and hook them all together and put pictures, like family pictures or something like that on them. A million things you can do. So I grabbed all three. Um, I will have to work on getting this paper off. Probably what I will do is peel what I can and then bring in my sander from the garage. I mean, this is, I will tell you, it's not on here very well at all. I mean, I think it just rips right off, um, you know, and that's fine. I'll sand the rest of it down and get a smooth surface on all of them. And then we'll do something. And then along those lines, I picked up two of these signs. This one says thankful, which I think what I will do is redo this one. And I'll tell you why I love them. Look at the back. You can take that right off and do anything you want with this. You don't even have to pop it out. It could, they do it for you. I think I'm going to make this for like Thanksgiving themed. Maybe do the outside in a brown. Do some, uh, this is definitely going to go for Thanksgiving this year. And then this one just says home. I will do something summer or spring with this. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna take it apart and redo it. But I like the light wood because it really could be stained. It could be painted. There's so much you could do with these. You could make a sign that goes this way. You can make, you know, a multi-layer sign. You could do like two or three and or take one, like get three together, take one picture, cut it into thirds and frame it on your wall. I mean, there's so much you can do with these and they're chunky enough to stand on their own. So I really enjoyed those. I grabbed two uh, because I feel like um, there's a lot of possibilities. And then the last thing I picked up, and this is for my coffee bar, it says life begins with coffee. Duh. The only thing is I wish this wasn't baby blue. I mean, it's okay. It just doesn't match my house, but I probably am not going to do anything to it, but put it up over by my coffee bar. And I do enjoy that this coffee word is raised. So on these signs, it's not. They're just flat. It's just flat up against the sign, but it's raised on here. And I love this buckling effect with like the little, the little faux nail. I mean, the nail might be real, but it looks like, you know, a nail in here. I just love this. I think it gives it a lot of texture. It almost looks like luggage, which I do enjoy. Um, the only thing is there's no way to hang it, so I'll have to figure out at my coffee bar what I'm going to do with it. And it might just get some command Velcro on the back and stick to the wall. I don't know. But that's everything. My stores have been pretty wiped clean right now. I don't know how y'all's stores are looking. Um, Easter is wiped out. I don't need any more Easter. I'm sad that I didn't find the gnomes, but I will live that I didn't find the gnomes. And um, I've already started decorating my house for Easter, spring, Easter. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my couch. And all these blankets need to be washed and put away. I'm going to bring the plants over here. Uh, Wellington is loving, loving his window. They love that. I have a bay window over here and it's all the sun is just coming in. And both of them are passed out in the sunshine. And I did get at the Dollar Tree the bird feeder. It's way over there. I'll show you if you saw my vlog yesterday, you probably saw what I did, but I took a big water bottle and drilled a hole in the bottom. Right now it's upstairs drying. I tied the string through the end and it's, I covered the hole with um, E6000 because I didn't want water to get into the bird food and ruin it. Um, and then the bottom piece screws on that the birds can sit on. I'm gonna create cat TV. 
And then I ran across the street to Big Lots by my house and I got bird food. And it's for outdoor wild birds. Who knew there was so many varieties of bird food? I did not. I am not a bird keeper. But Jackson Galaxy said that I need to give my cats entertainment. So they need cat TV. So I'm going to give them cat TV. That's what I do. I mean... I don't know. It may torture them. It may, I may regret this decision on cat TV. We'll see. But for it, for right now, that's it. And I hope you enjoy. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And thank you and have a good day. Bye.